In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the rear view mirror in your car driving or parking games like this one. So that we can reverse it and see what's going on behind the car. So yeah, let's get started. So here I've got the sample Unity car scene that looks something like this. And it comes with the standard assets package which I've got here. Alright, so the only change that I have made in this is if we go inside the car. I've added this cube game object which is actually just a placeholder for our camera. And I've added a camera stable script to it. If we open this, we can see which is simply just rotates the cube in the opposite direction of the car to stabilize the camera rotation and if you go back I have made the camera the child of this cube so it moves around wherever the cube goes alright so now let's see how it looks so we can drive the car around the scene but what we want to do here is to be able to see what's going on behind the car or when we reverse the car so for that let's go back first let's exit play mode Alright, so for that we need to go to the canvas and create a raw image inside of this. So let's go to UI, select raw image. Alright, and now let's set the position of this raw image and place it at the top. Let's set it here. Drag it up. Some, somewhere around here. Alright, so this looks good. And let's set the size to 720 pixels by let's say 200 i think or maybe 250 so yeah it looks good and the then this raw image here takes in our texture and for that we need to create one first go to create and select render texture here and just call it whatever you want now here we can set the size of the texture i'll put in the same size at the raw image itself all right and it actually increases the overall size of this texture here as you can see anyways let's select the raw image and drag and drop this texture here and as soon as we do that raw image just disappears because the texture here is just a transparent image and to see what's going on in the back we need a new camera so let's make a new camera reset the transform here and let's set the position of our camera here let's drag this up a bit and rotate it around 180 degrees and you can just set it um, wherever you want to I'll just place it somewhere around here so yeah this looks good and you can also change the field of view so if you want to set the angle to like wide angle you can increase this and I'll call this camera rear view cam and now I'll place it inside the cube same as the main camera alright now we can set the target texture on which the camera will be rendered so let's drag and drop this texture here and now we can already see the rear view but it doesn't look so good it just merges with the background so let's add some border to it first first let's make the image a bit bigger here so 300 and now we can just add the border so go to the render raw image and make a new image here so UI image and we need to select, select this anchor preset so it covers the whole image and we need to make it a bit bigger than the actual render image so minus 10 minus 10 here all right and now we can place this behind the raw image itself and now we have our border here and we can change the color of it so just set it to whatever you like i'll just set it to black for now so now we can just try this out so let's hit play oh yeah actually we need to disable the audio listener on the second camera so let's just so let's just remove this here 
let's try this once again. Awesome, so now we can actually see what's going on behind the car. Now we just need to be able to open and close the rear cam with some key input. So for that, let's actually close this and make a new strip. Let's close this off and make a new script on the canvas here call it uh, cam setting create an ad and open this up inside of visual studio okay so let's make a couple variables here uh, public reference for the raw image let's call it rear view image and another one Public game object for the rear camera itself. So rear view cam. And now in the start method, we will just disable both of these camera and the image itself. So set them to false. Same for the rear view image. And now inside of the update method, we will get a key from the input. So I'll just go for the R key here, you can set it to whatever you want. So once we press the R key, we will just we will just re-enable them both. So let's set, set it true. True here. Now here we can set them back with another key or better yet just use the same key to disable them also. So for that, let's make a boolean up there. Let's make a private bool and call it is reversing or maybe in reverse. And we will set this equal to false in the start method. So let's set it equal to false. So now when we press the R key, we will check if we are reversing or not. So if we are, then we will set them to true here. Actually, if it is false, so let's put in false here. And then we will set the is reverse is equal to true. And then if we press the R key and we are reversing that we will set them to false again. So let's just put in false here quickly. false all right so that's all we need to do here let's save this and head back inside of unity all right let's select the canvas and just drag and drop these both here so for the reverse image let's just drag and drop this image here and the river view camera so this one all right now we can just test this out. Let's move forward and as soon as we go back, so let's reverse it. Awesome, so yeah, it works. I know it doesn't look pretty, but you could always replace the border with some real view mirror. So yeah, it's all up to you. And that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also you could enable this dark theme for free. And if you want to do that, just take out this video up here. And until next time, see ya!